In this part of course lesson, uh, and for the architecture and arts section, I have selected this picture to model an exercise in Grasshopper. And as you can see, I have modeled this in Grasshopper. And I'm going to teach you how to model this in Grasshopper. Uh, if I just change this location of the curve, you can see that this is going to update the results. So let me just show you by changing this. You can see that this curve is changing. Uh, we can also change the distribution uh, of the height of this curve. As you can see here, we can also change that. We can make this go like a sine wave. As you can see here, we can make this a sine wave. And we can also change the minimum and the maximum height of this. So if I could just decrease that, you can see that the height of this, uh, this simply decreases. So let's just increase that so you can see this. Okay. So this is the minimum and the maximum height of the surface. The next thing we can control uh, is the number of these elements. You can see that I can decrease them or I increase them here. And we can also change the thickness of this simply by changing this. OK, and you can see that we can change the thickness and also the height. So if I just decrease that, you can see that this height also decreases. And at the end, we can also change the number of the slices here. So you can see that I can also make them um, bigger. And also, I can just increase the height. So if I just increase this, you can see that I can increase the height and produce uh, different results. So basically, this lesson will uh, give you a view of basically, this lesson will help you to understand uh, how to model this. Basically, this lesson will help you to understand uh, how to use a contour in Grasshopper, how to manage it, and also uh, use the tangents to produce the extrusions. And at the end, you will just model this in Grasshopper.